And Burmese goes, one more game. You hear the war cry from both the Myanmar and the Filipino fans. And the sun is shining on Burmese Ghost's favor. Unfortunately, Sun Sparks, their sun is setting, but they can't push it to game three. They want the, the Filipino tradition to continue for Sun Sparks. If you look at this, the fans are cheering. Even Todak fans are cheering for Sun Sparks, and they want this win. We can start off with a Kimi band, like you say, no Kimi. Sun Sparks, they will stick with the Esmeralda. Yep, uh, and Esmeralda being banned, Harif also being taken out of the picture as well. Same goes for the Kimi. So Sun Sparks seems to me they're banning Esmeralda, but this time the Lilia pick is going to let slide off from side of Burmese schools. And I feel like they may consider taking the Lilia pick just because Burmese schools uh, understand how Sun Sparks play. But like it seems to me, the mid matchup here, once again, the majors are getting prioritized coming from both these teams. A lot of these tanks are going to get slided off. The Kufra in general, the Hylos is also in the pool, the Croc as well, and the Kaja in particular. But I feel like Sunspot, they may have to ban the Kaja just because of how annoying the Kaja was in game number one from Cyber Burmese schools. Yeah, and being played from maybe. And I was thinking the same as well. Maybe take out the Kaja or maybe the Lilia. They can still stick with the Lilia ban, no problem. The x is now open and compared in contrast to game one. Sure, Burmese school. They have a big choice to make. There we go. They prioritized the Kaja. That was what I was looking for. The x -Ball. you can leave it because Kaja was the main factor that Burmese Goose won game one. But they do give away the Kufra and the Grok to Sun Sparks. Yeah, like you said as well, the x -Ball is also in the pool as well. Burmese Goose may consider just taking the x -Ball for themselves. But it seems to me the Masha is completely ignored from both these teams. And I'm not sure if Burmese Goose actually played the Masha. We saw them pick them. I believe yesterday as well, it just didn't work. No, they actually, did. They, yeah, they jaw head they didn't, they didn't, they didn't uh, pick the Masha, they picked the jaw head here. So in this case, the Masha is pretty much uh, a comfort pick from Sunspot if they go for it. But in this case, the Lunox will be secure from Burmese Goose once again. We are going to see Kit 001 on that Lunox and also Xbox playing, being played by Panda. Well, Xbox now is going to finally slide through that band, but K001, amazing performance on Lunox last game. He's gonna get it this time. There you go, the Chang'e comes out for Kel VJ. He does not have access to the Harif. No Lunox, no Esmeralda, no Lilia. I, I doubt that Kel VJ plays too much Lilia. So Chang'e would be the pick that you kind of go down the list and say, hey, I want this hero. But now if you look at the second phase, four Burmese goals, plenty of choice to go for. They can ban out the Lolita, which is one of the counters to Lunox. You can ban out the Akai as well, which they did in the previous game. They, they have to ban the uh, Lu Lolita uh, from coming from Sunspark just because the Chang'e's biggest weakness here. And Burmese goes, they may consider just letting it off slide here because right now they can't exactly pick the Lolita for themselves, but they will ban the Masha in respect to what Sunspark is. But I'm worried for this here because right now, do they have enough fighters to deal with the X-Ball? Tamus is just fantastically good against it. And it feels like Sunsparks may consider getting a Tamus in this picture. Or maybe even getting a double mage setup. But the Marksman division, who is it going to be? I feel like they have to buy the Lolita just because the Chang'e needs that protection coming from Sunsparks. Yeah, Lolita works well for both teams and none of them will get this hero. But for Sunsparks, they are not worried about the tank anymore. They have that frontline established. Burmese goes. Can fall back to the Archive. We've seen Minotaur pick only by Evil's Legends though. It is still their specialty uh, so far into the playoffs. But Burmese goes, they can always kind of look at it and say, hey, we can take a page off of the zero. It's going to be Damus locked in, like you mentioned, for Sunsparks to deal with the export. Yeah, very nicely done here. But in the Marksman division here, what can they do? There's still the Cloud available. Both teams still hesitating to pick it off as of now to find a counter pick from both the sides here. Burmese goes, they can pick their Marksman now. Is it going to be the Great Jail? We might actually see it, but it takes a little bit too long to come online. But in terms of the tank division here, like you said, the carry, uh, the Minotaur is still in the pool. Um, Lolita is pretty much banned off, but there is still the high loss in the picture if they actually want to go for it. But I'm worried here, is it going to be enough in terms of sustainabilities? <laughs> look at the, the audience right now. Whoop. A bit of support uh -oh. for Japan, but Gato Kacha will be locked in. I wanted to see the carry. I'm going to see the carry. Other than that, Bruno, perfect choice. Way better than Bruno. Gato Kacha is going to be the ice ice hero for this potential last game of this best of three, but Granger will be locked in for Sunsparks for the second time. 
Well, you called it out here. They've heard your prayers from inside the Burmese school. You wanted to see something different. You got it. Carry is going to be picked here from inside of Burmese Ghouls. Gaton Kacha on being played here from the side of Ice Ice potentially. Yes, pretty much Ice Ice is going to be playing here. How do you think this matchup is going to go here? The Avatar of Guardian landing here set up. Will they be able to catch the Chang'e from behind? I think it's very possible, but Ice Ice, he did play Gato Kacha uh, previously, I believe, but it didn't work out. Yeah, he did, they played Gato Kacha against Evil's Legends in game one yesterday. Did not work out. It was a it was a horrible game for them at least because Evil's Legends were just so dominant. But the Gato Kacha, I want to see if this is the same style as Tennis Gaming Plus, or is it the more aggressive Gato Kacha engaged with Ultimate uh, kind of play style? And for Burmese Ghouls, the, it's the, a more robust one. Finally, a draft that does not have the obvious X Factor like the Tarisla or the Jawhead. So Burmese Ghouls will play the normal game, I'm, I would say. I'm sorry to say, the X Factor would be the Kaja's Divine Judgment. It's all up to maybe the clutch for the team. And game number one is fantastic. He got the right targets. Oh, yeah. Xbox with the insanity to zone off the guys from Sunspark. But like you said as well, it might be that as well. But from the perspective of Sunspark, there's also the Kufra, Grok, and Chang E, which just brewed bring so much crowd control in terms of team fights as well so it's gonna be a chicken egg here but i'm a little bit worried here from uh burby school just because of their front lines their front lines yes they have the cash potential but in terms of team fight potential can they actually catch the chang -e? yeah i think it's uh, still possible that uh, if you give carry that lead you give lunox that lead you can actually actually easily access the Chang'e. Order of Brilliance is perfect to dodge that meteor shower uh, from this partic particular hero. And then Gado Kacha will be the main front line that I want to see from Burmese Ghouls as we take a look at the map once more. It's going to be Burmese Ghouls this time on that blue side and Sunsparks will take on the red. Yep, this is going to be their matchup here. I'm, I, and I'm honestly worried here because right now Sunspark they have their drafts it seems to break a, a very very strong draft here to deal with what Burmese schools is going to be handing off here they have the slightest uh, uh, they have a slight advantage just based on my prediction from the drafts they may take this into game number three here but like I said it all comes up towards the official match the official score this is going to be game number two that we will decide the entire tempo for Sunspark will they come out on top or will they not yeah, JP in that previous game was not the superstar the Sunsparks once had in Group C, but Granger this time, it's going to be easy. We'll take a look Five at how Sunsparks can bring it to a Game 3 because battle. guess what? Game 2 is underway. These are your All champions. These are your players. They are going to be competing in Game number 2. One game advantage right now from Burmese Goose here in Day number 2 in the MLBB World Championship, also known as M1. An immediate First engage one. maybe gets picked up. Burmese schools lose that Kufra Sunspark. The collapse was there for them and they found the kill that they need. Yes, Sunspark will have the slight advantage now as they will prioritize on their buff here with the Chang'e. A little bit of revenge against Burmese schools as of now. So nothing much is going to be happening. But like you said, they lose maybe and maybe, maybe will be a little bit late toward the party when to hit that first pre-4 uh, ultimates. Yeah, and Kaja needs that Divine Judgment to kind of come online, but because he got picked up so early, he's going to oh, lose a bit of time. Tyrus is bouncing Ruff. ball. Rafflesia is in, and Ice Eyes can't get away. Not able to get the taunt off. It's going to be JP with that kill. What a nice one here coming from Rafflesia, going for the catcher. They have the level 2, they have the advantage, and he capitalized on the timing fantastically well. So here's the kill. Here comes Rafflesia with the revenge as well. The casual pass it, but soon Sunspot, they have to back off. A little bit of Calvary is being thrown in from side of Burmese Goose. As of now, Sunspot game number 2, they are on the return here. Panda might be dived on here. Renzio is thinking about closing game here. Here comes Slife as well. but. Seems to be the modern side is not gonna be trained here, but Renzio is trying his best. Ooh, oh, up. And he just survived that the Firaga armor keeping him alive for, for a bit more. Maybe late to the party. And we talk about the Reflexia JP, the father Turtle and son, the babysitter soon. and the carry. And this Kufra has been creating waves on that bottom lane. JP now has a pretty good time. The bounty hunter on him, so he got 80 extra gold from that first kill. Uh, from that first kill. Now Burmese goes. They're starting to slow down the tempo, not like game one where they drove on Sunspark. This time they're playing it slow. 
Yep, definitely here. By the same time, here comes the Darkness King. Pop time here. Who's again almost getting burned here? Unfortunately, he survives. And Kate's the one. He's looking for another one here. And Sunsbox dodges on the way. But because of that poke here, ice the turtle is going to be up for grab. Revitalize being used here from inside the ice ice. And Burmese goes. They are still retreat. debating here. Sunsbox. Now they have the four the away on Rafisha. Tyrant's Rage. Is it going to connect? Doesn't seem to connect though. But seems to me the turtle will be. Forbidden from the side of Burmese Ghost. Uh, perfectly done from Sunsprout. And now they dive on the Panda, who does not have the last steady. He's not gonna make it to level 4 in time, and they will finish him off alongside that turtle. Renzio will slay the X4. Sun, nice engagement here coming from Sunspot. Maybe he needs those four. Divine Judgment not available yet. They will disengage. Where's the Elephant are from Ice Ice? He just got it. Can he make it run? No, the Suns from Rafisha cancel is off. Instantly takes it down. Meteor Shower with the zone from KVJ. And Sunspark will get that clean kill. Nicely executed coming from them. Yeah, maybe he just got that level 4 Divine Judgment of all targets. They, he tried to pull the Grok in, but there was no damage there. The Grok Guardian Barrier forced Kid 001 to deviate. So then Middle Tier 2, Sanspa, they collapsed. They didn't even need the Lunox. All they needed was any random pickup that they could find. Ace was the victim. Yes. My, oh my, how will they play this here? But as of now, Sunspark, they have the 3 KM on They just like how Burmese Goose had in game number one. They're applying the pressure. We are oh. with the Cobra. Arrival available here. But A007, can they save the day? But look at this. Panda, he loses his Baraga armor immediately. The cavalry is here. A big swipe from Wilson again. But they will lose another one. JP gets another kill from Sun Sunspark. They're gonna go for a catcher. But Panda, what can he do? Maybe? Where can he go for the fight here? But Sunspark, they want to get him. Can he go in the flicker? Divine Judgment pulls the Chaga, but the Kufra is there to save the day. They get the Chaga, but they will get the trade. Ice Ice with the Avatar. He's looking for the kill, but the tier one will get secured from JP as well. I like what maybe did. So flicker divine judgment. The aggro was Literally on top of the Chang'e at the split second, so they, he managed to trade Kel VJ back. Not the biggest kill of all, but it did give uh, by Burmese Ghost a bit more time. The Firaga armor was not there for uh, for Panda when he used the arrival to join the fight. So unfortunate for this expo, he managed to get out though, and that is a bit of breathing room for Burmese Ghost. Panda is going to be a little bit afraid here because the Chang'e can stretch through those Firaga armor. Malaysia here, the second oh, turtle. The 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 They have to back out and so Sunspot, they're capitalizing here. Double kill from JB. They get the turtle, but the solar turtle from Kid 001. You won't get punished. So what if the turtle takes it? We are gonna kill you all. Panda is here. He's gonna get diamond as well. And Sunspot from the side as well with JB on the Granger. When will team respect the Kufra? The element surprise will always be in Sunspark's favor because of the cool from Burmese Ghost. They walk into broad daylight and they say, well, come and engage. That's what they get. Wipe out for Sunspark. They stole a turtle, but they, they lost everything in the process. Welcome to Sunspark, ladies and gentlemen. Feel the wrath of the sun as Apollo shines on them as of now. But the middle tower from side of Burmese Ghost are still standing. It's not over yet. Who's again? trying to contest this, but look at this. Ice Ice, he's opening the map, he's all by he's himself, dead. gets punished, but the damn Sonata picks him off. Sun Sparks, my oh my. A painful game for Burmese Ghost. They were not able to deal with this cool front. They were not giving enough respect to uh, Reflesia, which is causing so much havoc. Auto brilliance, forced out by the Chang'e, Fuzikin on this Grog. He's going to continue doing this because he can ace force back. They're going to lose that tier 2. Burmese goes. They want to come for this collapse. Panda with the last Sandy. Dies right in. Who's again? Still surviving a bit for now. Slain the not able to kill him off. But Reflecta jumps right in from Sunspark. And they want to go for the fight. He's already gone line. This cool How did it happen? Renzio isolated the Garden Barrier. Will lose his life. But here comes Galo Kaja with the Avatar. They will slay one member of Sunspark. Ace wants to turn this around. But he cannot get into the fight. JP in the back line. Going to survive that. Unstoppable. And Ice Ice has to retreat. Oh, does the connect on the ace and he will get out. But Kelby is still there. Sunspark, they can re engage. Nice disengage here coming from A007. But Sunspark, once again, they don't want to let them out. Rafael charging his facial, but they will back off. But Sunspark, the pressure is real. It's insane. But now they will get the middle tower for themselves, opening up the map even more. But Burmese goes. 
slowly but surely they're losing the lead. Sun Spark pulling up ahead here with 9k deficit and a turtle buff as well from the side of Sun Sparks. Well, Sun Spark can definitely secure this turtle of Burmese schools. Not in the facility to do anything. That was the best fight that we got. Media shot when I comes out on the ice as the face shot dives in. But Gato Kaja will shatter like glass. Yes. My, oh my, Panda as well, Firaga Armor almost get bursted down here, but Sunspark, they know how to deal with this uh, Panda. Now 0-3-2 on the Xbox, but from behind, k 1 he might be in some trouble here. Uh-oh, why are you outside? They are trying to bait the Brilliance, but Sunspark goes on the wall. Oh, oh, they force the Brilliance! There's gonna be a stop on here, the Brilliance shower as well. k 1 gets blocked here. What a clutch from Busakin! What was the Lunox thinking? He had a clear way to retreat. Sure, backup was there, but you had to anticipate Sunsprung being ready to take the fight again. Fuzakin got the easiest Garden Barrier of his life, and now they directly get Reflexia. He's ready, Ice Ice. He's gonna throw his life to protect the rest of the team. The Avatar is coming from Ice Ice. So now maybe he gets out. They got killed to Gato Kacha, though. Sunsprung, they take down the front line once more. My, oh my. What a fantastic performance coming from Buzakin. He knew Kid 001 was on the double uh, light form here, where he cannot switch in towards the darkness to actually jump past the wall, blocked him, forced him to use the brilliance, and could not disengage in time. However, oh. the place here as well goes for the Tyrant's Rage, connects and catches one here. Boom is goes. They lose their carry. Had they do this here, Kid 001 must get double light form, forces the brilliance. He's gonna go down as well. Who's again? Wait for it, get a killing spree as well. And Sunspark, compared to game one, they dominate Burmese goals in game two harder than what Burmese goals did to them in game one. Again, the lack of respect was replaced. That was the main factor oh. in the game now. Now the final game, Panda, last standing. Can he get the kill? Gato Kaja, we also not able to get out. They get the shutdown on the Reflexia though. Ace now comes in. He needs to do as much as he can. Ranger on a monster kill streak. JP, pretty much healthy. And now it's both the Kaja, Chang'e, and the carry to keep Burmese goals dreams alive. They have to do all they can here, but Spider Dev Sonar are coming in from Sunspot. They bait out the brilliance for the game, but look at this. Kill VJ with the meteor shower just pushing them all back. They get a tier one, but Sunspax will respect them a little bit here and fall off the reset and take another fight here. The Lord is going to be for up for grabs, but you can see based on itemization here, JP is ready to fight. He's ready to rumble. He's ready to close this game from the side of Sunsparks. Sunsprout says slow and steady wins the race. They have such an insurmountable lead. Easy lord for them. They're looking for that last push. You can see Renzo diving right in through the kid. It's in the front line. Reflexia will be ready for the time's revenge by Burmese goals. They now are forced into the base. The genius one is also up on QBJ. This charm uh, is gonna hit like a truck. Likewise from JP who just got his Berserker Fury as well. This is where things are gonna get a little bit interesting here because they are slowly but surely pulling way even farther ahead here with 12k network advantage favoring Sun Sparks. You can see A007 the carry. Zero damage on this cross. Sunsparks will wait for the way to crash right in. Meteor shower will start things off. Just keep your eyes on to replace their tyrant to back charging out. Just oh. in one kill! And they will get the child! Sunspark now with the final game. Take down that inhibitor double kill for JP. It's gonna be three for Burmese Ghost, but the Lord is marching in. Maybe gets a drag, but he can take it down. Triple kill for JP! And Renzi will find one in the cell! Panda, not enough! Sunsparks pushes it 